Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neon Deggy Weasel and today I'm going to be taking a scientific look into the most recent breakthrough in the scientific community of alchemy and object fusion. A scientist, whose name escapes me at the moment, has discovered a new method of taking two objects of differing material and fusing them together to form one object of equal mass. This is very exciting for me because I've been a fan of alchemy since my younger days of growing up as a child in a place. Now in his excitement to show off his new method of fusing two objects on the molecular level, the scientist has created a little music video to demonstrate his process. And that's what we will be watching here today. So get your notebook and pen ready, because as we say in the community of smart people, we're about to do us a science. All right, let us begin. PAP. For those of you who don't know, PPAP stands for Pre-Fusion Alchemic Process. Fusion is spelled with a PH in this case. I have a pen. One pen. I have an apple. Yes, I see. I see. Uh, apple pen. How is that even possible? How is this man able to fuse two objects together on a molecular level just by putting them together? This goes against all the alchemic knowledge that I've ever learned from Full Metal Alchemist. Even the episode when the doctor fuses his own daughter to his dog makes no sense to me now. That person, Edward. Why the fuck is your hair so long? Okay, okay uh, maybe, maybe that was just a fluke. That had to have just been a fluke because there's no possible way to combine two objects like that in such a manner. That's just unheard of. There's no way that can happen again. Right. I have a pen. I have pineapple. Don't you fucking do it. Don't, don't you do it. Uh, pineapple pen. What? I mean, look at him. He's not even using a philosopher's stone to fuse these two objects together. I bought these devil rocks for nothing. Apple pen. And then he gives us this look expecting us to accept what he just did. Who is this man? What is he wearing? Why is his mustache so pencilly thin? <sighs> Wait a minute. Pencil thin mustache. Yellow shirt. It all makes sense now. I finally understand how this man is performing such miracles. It's all clear to me now. This man combines pens with pineapples. The word pen is in the word pencil. Pencils are made out of wood. Pine trees are a type of wood. Pineapples and pine trees share the same word in the word pineapple. Pineapples are a type of fruit. Fruit and friendship share the same starting letter. Friendship is a running theme in the anime fairy tale. One Piece is a better anime than fairy tale. In the anime One Piece, there's a legendary pirate known as Gold D. Roger. In Photoshop, I use the color yellow as a substitute for gold. This man is wearing a gold leopard print suit. This man is the Pirate King. But in all seriousness, videos like these are the kind of videos that I miss from YouTube. Videos that give off a sense of when the creator made this, their first thought wasn't, oh my God, I really want this video to get big and go viral. To me, what it feels like when this person made this, they were just sitting at home thinking of random things. They, were, they looked at a pencil and saw a pineapple sitting next to it. And they thought, pencil, pineapple, pencil, pineapple, pencil, pineapple. Putting together pineapple pencil. Pineapple pencil, pencil, pineapple, pin pineapple, apple pencil. You see that shit? That sort of spontaneous creativity is what I remember YouTube used to be like. Nowadays we got people doing YouTube because they think, yay, this is gonna be it's gonna be real big. I'm gonna go viral. And it's not just I want to make this because I wanna make it. Nowadays big YouTubers are partnering up with YouTube itself to create original YouTube series. Uh, for YouTube Red. Also along with that, YouTubers are now adapting to the system that YouTube has created for itself, where uh, the longer the video, the more 
uh, potential money you could possibly make. And YouTube has now become more systematic than it is random. Videos still get big like this, but not as much as they used to. And I miss that feeling. That feeling of logging onto YouTube, going onto this homepage, and seeing the big featured video of the day. That video being so freaking amazingly dumb and stupid and huge and funny. It just, it stays up there for like the next two days and millions of people see it. Now I'm not saying what YouTube is now is not great. It's freaking fantastic. I love it. I use it every day. YouTube has become television for me. But in truth, the YouTube system is helping out gamers more than it does like people who make sketch comedy videos, people who make animation videos. Animation videos are almost dead on YouTube because, because a good 10 minute animation video will take you years or just months and months of just constant work. But anyway, this video is freaking fantastic. I love it. I've seen it multiple times. There's even a little bonus extended version of this that has even more stuff in it. There's a link in the description to see the other version of this video. I highly recommend it. We're gonna go ahead and skip to the very end of that video because I feel like he left a message to us in the form of hand signs, and I'm a professional hand signal uh, miser. I, I think I can decipher exactly what he's trying to say at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and skip right onto that. All right, we're here on YouTube. This part takes place a little bit after he ascends to the heavens and joins his alien brethren. Now I'm, prof I'm a professional decipherer, so I know exactly what he's saying. Here we go. Okay, he says, I love the bodies in the trunk of the car somewhere in California. All right then. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like this video. Please leave a comment if you want to comment on something I said I did or have not done in the future, whether or not I should make more videos. If you want to see me make more videos, please leave a comment and like saying I should make more videos. Two videos just popped up showing you reactions to other videos that we've done. This one's the reaction to Maximum the Hormone, and this one's the reaction to Baby Metal. Both of these are very good, and I recommend you watch both of them. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. My name is Neon Dougie Weasel, and I will see you maybe in another reaction video. Peace.